welcome to the Downtown View, episode 3. Down dog like that I'll go mad and don't breathe like that. I'll go mad. So, what are the competitions and why do we even go there? They are fun, they are exciting, and they are necessary. They usually happen in awesome places. Even if it's somewhere local, you still have a feeling that you're having like a getaway, like a vacation. You're staying in a hotel, it's uh, the whole day is structured with dancing and fun, you're meeting new people. Like, it, it is a very fun trip. Uh, exciting because the feeling and the adrenaline that runs through your body when you go on, onto, onto the floor and you compete is just wow. bring challenge. So it's challenging for your body, challenging for your mind, but the end result is so worth it. You come back strong, you come back inspired, and you come back ready to learn more and implement more and just grow. So three things when you are preparing for a competition. The first thing is practice continuously repeating what you've learned uh, and making it like your second nature. The second thing is coaching, so when you receive the new information and try to adjust it and become better within that, that session that, that you're working with that person. And the third thing is the mindset. The mindset is your ability to perform and show all your knowledge and all your hard, hard work under the pressure of this competition and make sure that the nerves don't get in the way and you get the best of what you can possibly do. So competitions are also a chance for us to connect with our students in a more casual environment. Uh, so me and Joe had a very uh, awesome conversation and very awesome talk and uh, now you guys get to meet Joe and know who Joe is and know his story. Good morning guys, it's our second day and we have Joe who just flew from New York. He's gonna start competing tonight at 6 p.m. and before he does, I'm gonna go and change. We're gonna ask him a few questions. Okay, sounds good. Okay, Joe, if you can just tell us why did you come to a dance studio, how did you end up dancing, and what, and what was your first competition? Okay, um, it's actually a pretty interesting odyssey. Um, uh, about five years ago, a couple years after my wife had passed away, I'm a widower, I decided that I wanted to get back into things. So uh, I got a mad urge to try to master the, uh, the regular tango. to be really spectacular because it's not it's much more complicated than I've envisioned. It's, it's, it improves your balance, um, it improves your, you, know, you have to pay attention to so many things, directing a partner and the music, not pumping into people, uh, maintaining the posture. I'm not saying that I'm good at any of those or, or all of them, but it's a real challenge to try to come in and try to improve on a regular basis. On it. So the competitions are great because it gives you a goal and it makes you really focus on it. So, I guess I'm a believer. 
So, so that's why we're down here to just have some more fun and try to improve and just uh, plus the people at the studio are fantastic. And uh, I've, I've felt that way for a long time. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a second family to me. So um, uh, I have two teachers, uh, one that I've had for, uh, for quite a bit of time um, named Katja. And Katja is, uh, is somebody that has had a lot of experience with. We've done a lot of competitions. Um, we've done a lot of dancing together. And uh, she, at one point, I think she may be the most patient person in the world sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, sometimes it takes uh, not once, twice, but maybe 17 times to go through something. Um, but we have a, a good friendship, um, and she's, uh, she's smart. She's, uh, um, she's, you know, obviously I feel comfortable with her and I trust her. Uh, I feel very strongly that she has my best interest in the dancing uh, in mind. And then more recently, I started dancing with, uh, with Tanya because I did switch studios. And um, this has been fascinating because Tanya is a uh, is an international and, and world dancing championship and and a, and a very active competitor at this point. So you get some sense of what the the sacrifices and the and the time and effort that's put into it. And so as a as sort of a you know, relatively newbie on this, I don't have any great aspirations about it. But you do see, like everything else, that you have, if you want to get better at something, you're going to have to have to work hard. Crazy though it seems, so please. You know, almost inevitably, after I finish the dance lesson, you know, I come away on a nice high as I must say. You know, for the most part, I leave just thinking, wow, that felt like I accomplished something, I worked on something, and I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm hooked. And me. So this was our first national competition and we have only been dancing together for just a little while and we are very happy to be the vice champions of the Fred Astaire National Close Smooth Division. Um, the whole experience was quite amazing. Uh, it's very uh, challenging in a way to look around and see all the wonderful couples dancing and try not to compare yourself but try to keep it cool and just know that you know, whatever you did until this moment, hopefully it will be enough. Not you're just going to have another competition, another practice, and you're just going to come back and be stronger. But um, the whole experience was wonderful, and uh, I couldn't be more happier that we actually went and I challenged myself, and we danced, and we represented here downtown. Uh, and uh, having my team, having our teachers, our students there, um, it's really incredible to have someone cheering for you, and. Uh, you know, screaming your name and through millions of people that, that, that surround you, you have your team, you have your supporters, people who really believe in you and you're proud of you no matter what. So the result was great for us, but the main thing was that the whole trip was so an amazing experience that it just makes the result even more better. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and happy Thanksgiving from the whole Fred Astaire downtown. Yesterday actually our whole team was at the Macy's Day Parade. Uh, we will show you uh, videos about that in our next episode and also in our next episode you will get a chance to meet our team a little bit closer. We hope you had a wonderful holiday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday.